Good morning, hookers. I'm doing a little bit of a crocheting tutorial this morning. Um, I'm making simple, 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 like super easy baby slippers. These are probably going to fit a between a three and six months old baby, unless the baby's born with uh, big feet. So um, I cha I'm using a size K hook or a 6.5 millimeter. I am using just a four ply worsted yarn. I think this is a Bernat. Super bulky, yeah, because it's reversed because I'm using my webcam. I chained 12, turned, and I'm working just simple rows of half double crochet. Yarn over through the hole, pull through all three loops. Uh, this video is definitely for people who already know how to crochet. You will make a make enough rows to where this is a perfect square okay and I'm going to go ahead and finish doing that and then I'll come back when I have my square okay I'm back magic see I did eight rows of half double crochet um, I started like I said with 12 a chain 12 and that you know when I turn I go in two stitches um, some people go in three, I go in two, and I work my, and also when I turn on the ends, I only chain one when I'm doing half double crochet. Some people chain two, personal preference, once again. Um, but now that I have this perfect square, and how I can tell it's a perfect square is when I fold it in a diagonal, I make this little football, everything lines up, okay? So when I started, I left about a, oh, I say that's about a 12 inch tail. And we're gonna need that in a few minutes. And when I tied off my end, I left a good bit, like 18 inches. And I've threaded on a darning needle, okay? From the one that I uh, just finished off my last row. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weave this in together, okay? I'm gonna go, see if you can see this. I'm gonna weave my needle along this edge and I'm gonna make a drawstring. This is gonna be the toe of our slipper, okay? I'm gonna draw that tight. Hang on a second here. Okay. All right, see how it drew that up? It, kind of makes like a little taco you want that super tight super 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 tight and then then and then, and then I want you to bind or fasten that off secure it knot it okay so now we have our little I have a cat hair <laughs> wonder where that came from uh, I have a little toe going on of my slipper, okay? It's been gathered right here. Don't worry about that right now. We're going to turn it inside out in a few minutes. Now I'm going to line up my top edge, stitches to stitches, and I'm going to, I'm still attached here, and I'm going to go under my stitches, and I'm going to sew back to, this is what covers the toes or the top part of the foot. You can go back as far as you want. You can make little ballerina slippers, uh, go back a little further and cover more of the foot. I tend with babies cover more of the foot because, you know, they get cold. Toesies. Okay. I think I went back, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five stitches, maybe six. Okay, so half, not about halfway. And then I'm going to fasten that off the same way, um, knot it off, okay? And when we do this right here, you need to hide your tail. And I'm going to hide my tail along this top edge because it's going to be on the inside. I'll show you just that here in a second. So and then I'm going to snip it off with my scissors, okay? So far, this is what we have. Let me kind of, okay. So we draw string the edge, okay? And I've stitched back 
five places, five stitches on the top of the foot. So now we have this opening. This is where the foot goes in and this is the heel, okay? This long tail that we have there, thread on your needle. This is fun, which is how. Okay, thread on your needle. And stitch from the top down, matching your stitches, just like we did on the top of the foot. Just make sure it's good and tight because um, although babies don't are not hard on slippers until they start walking in them, you want it secure. You don't want tails coming out and fraying. So when you get to the end of that heel, just knot it, hide your end. I just kind of tend to hide it up in what I just did. Okay. Snip that off. And our slipper's done. Now, I'm going to turn it inside out because it looks much better when you turn them inside out. Okay. So, I wish I had a baby to put it on to show you. I could put it on my cat, but then she's liable to eat me up. Okay. So, there is our little baby slipper. Here's the top view of it. There's the hole for the foot okay here is where I stitched it up along the top here here is the toe we gathered and this is the heel side view look how tiny and how fast okay and just make another one identical I can make a pair of these literally in about 10 minutes 15 minutes so um, they have some really cool Christmas yarn right now uh, that's got little glittery things in it. Frosty looking and uh, jingle belly looking. Yeah, is that a word? Jingle belly looking? It's my word. I think it's cool. Anyhow, they're fast and I hope you try them. If you're going to make them for adults, uh, let me just say this, that when you make your chain to fit the foot, make it one to one and a half inches shorter than the actual foot because these do stretch. So this actually may fit even up to a 12 month old because a year old child, because they stretch, but they will fit littler feet. They just, you know, they just won't be skin tight on them. Um, so I encourage you to try them. They're fast, so fast. Everybody needs crocheted slippers, right? Have a good day. Just real Thanks. quick, forgot to tell you something. You do not have to use a half double crochet. You can do a single crochet, a double crochet. Um, I tend to not do anything with big holes uh, type of stitch. That way toes don't stick through. A double crochet is fine for an adult, um, you know, because feet get hot. But for babies, I tend to stick with a tighter weave. So a single crochet or a half double is perfect for that. And I just wanted to put that little insert in there because um, you do not have to use a half double. It's just what I prefer because I like a little bit of a decorative stitch. Okay? Thanks.